Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema niya sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan pa rin natin ay tungkol sa domain and range of rational function. Ngayon kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung uh, domain and range independent practice part na guide natin ay panoorin nyo muna ha i-check nyo sa ating playlist nandyan lang yan kasi doon medyo mas mabagal yung explanation ko dito medyo bibilisan na natin ng onte kasi nga na-discuss na natin yung mga dapat yung malaman dun sa part na yon okay pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito siguraduhin na muna mga anak ko na napindot nyo na dyan ng like button ah, pindot din na at syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin din mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, we have your f of x is equal to 5 over x minus 1. To find for the... Domain, di ba, ang nagiging focus natin yung denominator kasi yung denominator natin bawal siyang maging equals kay 0. So, having that, x minus 1 is not equal to 0. Okay, dapat hindi siya equal kay 0, ha? So, ano yung value ni x? So, we have your x should not be equal to negative 1 magiging positive 1. So, yung x natin, bawal maging equal kay 1. Kasi if x is 1, 1 minus 1, magiging 0 to, magiging undefined siya. So, x is not equal to 1. So, lahat pwede for our domain. So, we have x such that x is not equal, or sorry, x such that x is an element of real advanced teacher Maria. Ulit ha, dahan-dahan lang teacher Maria. Lahat pwede ha, x such that x is an element of real. Basta element siya ni real, pwede siya. Pero, may exemption tayo. Lahat nga pwede, tapos may exemption. No? Pero, hindi pwede si 1. Okay, hindi siya pwede kasi magiging zero to, magiging undefined. Now, for our range, we have this as y. So, y is equal to 5 over x minus 1. Isosolve natin yung x, ha? So, para masolve yun, this is over 1, then cross multiply. y times x minus 1 equals 1 times 5 is 5. Distribute x, y, okay, minus y times 1 is y equals to 5. Dahil si x ang isinosolve natin, lipat natin si y dito. So, x, y man na lang matitira dito. And then, positive na si y kasi lilipat na siya plus 5. And then, dahil si x ang kailangan, divide by y. So, our x is equal to y plus 5 over y. So, yung y natin, hindi dapat siyang maging equal kay 0. Kasi pag naging 0 siya, undefined siya. So, lahat ulit pwede. Pero, 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 hindi kasama si 0. So, y such that y is an element of real, pero dapat si y, hindi siya 0. Okay? Now, for number 2, We have f of x is equal to 3x over x minus 6. O, focus ulit tayo sa denominator natin. x minus 6 is not equal to 0. Okay, dapat hindi equal kay 0. Lipat to dito. So, x is not equal to negative 6 magiging positive 6 na siya. Okay, so say x bawal maging 6 kasi 6 minus 6 is 0 na magiging undefined to. So, siya yung tatanggalin natin. So, the domain is x such that x is an element of real. Okay, pero yung x natin is not equal to 6. Hindi siya pwedeng maging 6. Now, for our range, this is y y is equal to 3x over x minus 6, di ba? So, over 1 to, cross multiply, y times x minus 6 equals to 3x. 1 times 3x is 3x. Okay, distribute x, y minus 6y equals to 3x. Dahil x ang sinosolve natin, ito lipat dito, ito lipat doon. Okay, so x, y 
minus 3x. Negative na to ha. Equals to positive 6y na siya pag nilipat. And then, factor out x. xy is y. No, xy divided by x is y. Uh, 3x divided by x is 3. So, minus 3 equals to 6y. So, divide by y minus 3 para x na lang dyan. So, x is equal to 6y over y minus 3. So, si y minus 3, bawal din maging equals kay 0. So, lipat to, y is not equal to 3. So, bawal maging 3 kasi 3 minus 3 is 0. So, our range is y such that y is an element of real pero y should not be equal to 3. Or y is, is not equal to 3. Okay, next for number 3, we have f of x is equal to x plus 5 over 7x minus 7. So, we have here this one, 7x minus 7 is not equal to 0. So, bawal maging 0, ha? So, lipat siya dun, 7x is equal to 7, divide by 7, 7. So, not to, ha? x is not equal to 1. Okay, kasi 7 divided by 7 is 1. So, our domain is x such that x is an element of real, pero dapat si x is not equal to 1. Kasi pag equal siya kay 1, diba 7 times 1 is 7 minus 7, 0 siya. Okay, for our range, this is y. y is equal to x plus 5 over 7x minus 7. Over 1, cross multiply. So, y, sorry, times, teka, times a 7x minus 7 equals to x plus 5 times 1 is x plus 5. O, distribute ha. 7xy minus 7y, 7 times y, 7y, equal to x plus 5. Eto si x lipat doon. Ito si y lipat doon. Okay, so 7xy, ne, uh, positive magiging negative x equals to, ito negative magiging positive 7y plus 5. Factor out natin yung x. 7xy divided by x is 7y. Okay, x divided by x is 1. Okay, so 7y minus 1 equals to 7y plus 5. So, divide by... 7y minus 1. 7y minus 1. Cancel. So, x is equal to 7y plus 5 over 7y minus 1. Ngayon, si 7y naman, ang isosolve natin kasi denominator siya. So, 7y minus 1, tama ba yung sinabi ko kanina? Equals or not equals to 0. Okay, so we have here 7y is not equal to negative 1, positive 1 na siya. So, divide by 7 para masolve si y. So, y is not equal to 1 over 7. So, ito yung magiging restriction natin. Hindi pwedeng maging 1 over 7 ang ating y. So, ang range natin is y such that y is an element of real, pero si y is not equal to 1 over 7. Okay. Now, for number 4, we have this one, 5 plus x over 5x. Okay. So, ito lang yan. 5x is not equal to 0. So, divide by 5, divided by 5. So, x is not equal to 0. So, bawal siyang maging 0 kasi 5 times 0 is 0 na. Okay? So, the domain will be x as such that x is an element of real, pero x is not equal to 0. Okay. Paano naman yung range? So, y to, y is equal to 5 plus x over 5x. Over 1, cross yan. So, 5xy equals to 5 plus x. Lipat si x dito, magiging 5xy minus x equals 5 na lang siya. And then, factor x magiging 5y. Diba? Matatanggal na yung x, madidivide siya. So, matitira 5y. This x divided by x is 1. So, this is 1, negative 1, equals to 5. Okay, then x yung sinasolve natin, divide natin siya by 5y minus 1. 
Cancel, cancel. So, x is equal to 5 over 5y minus 1. So, si 5y minus 1, yan naman yung hindi pwedeng maging 0. So, lipat to, magiging 5y is equal to positive 1 na siya pag nilipat. Divided by 5, so y is not, sorry, is not 1 over 5. So, y is not equal to 1 over 5. Bawal siyang maging 1 over 5. So, the range is y such that y is an element of wheel, pero y is not equal to 1 over 5. Okay. For the last one, number 5, we have here f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x squared minus 4. O, ito muna tayo, ha? x squared minus 4 is not equal to 0. Lipat to dito, so x squared is not equal to negative magiging 4. Tapos, square root, so x is not equal to positive negative, what is the square root of 4? 2. Okay, so bawal si positive 2, bawal si negative 2. So, this is now, uh, domain is x as such that x is an element of real, pero x is not equal to positive negative 2. That's our domain. Paano naman ang range? Ito magiging y, di ba? So, y is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x squared minus 4. O, mag-factor muna tayo. Factoring tayo. Anong factors nito? So, anong factors nito na kapag in mo, 3 ang magiging answer? Obviously, isa lang naman ng factors ng 2. 2 times 1. Pag in ko ba siya, 3? Yes. So, this is uh, x plus 2, x plus 1 over eto ay x plus 2, x minus 2. Alam ko marunong na kayo mag-factor ng mga ganito, di ba? Pag x squared minus 9, that's x plus 3, x minus 3. Pag x squared minus 16, this is x plus 4, x minus 4. Nakuha ba yung pattern? Pag x squared minus 25, x plus 5, x minus 5. Pag ganyan, kinukuha nyo lang yung square root o. Square root ng x squared x, square root ng 16, 4. Tapos, positive, negative dapat sila. Para maka-cancel natin yung middle term. And then, cancel na to, cancel na to. So, we will have here y uh, equals to x plus 1, x minus 2. Okay, then we solve. This is over 1 cross y, x minus 2, ta times sila, equals to x plus 1. And then, this one is x is y, x is y, x y minus 2y equals x plus 1. Okay, lipat si x dito, lipat si y dito. So, x y minus x, negative na si x, equals to positive 2y plus 1. So, ilabas si x, this will be y, x y divided by x is y x divided by x is 1. So, negative 1 equals to 2y plus 1. Divide by y minus 1, y minus 1. Cancel. Okay, so, ang x natin is equal to 2y plus 1 over y minus 1. Pero, isasolve natin yung y natin. y minus 1 is not equal to 0. Ha? Hindi pwede maging 0. So, y is not equal to negative magiging positive 1. So, our range is y such that y is not, ah, uh, sorry. y such that y is an element of real and y is not equal to 1. Kasi pag nag-1 siya, kung i-check mo dito, 1 minus 1, 0 siya. Nabawal mangyari. Okay, so that's it for finding the domain and range. Kung naiintindihan mo ang video na ito, please comment yan sa ating comment section ha mga anak. Help me up this video by writing your comments. And please, share na agad sa mga classmates kasi baka mamaya nahihirapan na sila. At least may guide din sila katulad nyo. Kaya waging, wag maging selfish ha. And also, please... Follow me sa Facebook page natin, Love Math TV. Sige na naman. Okay? At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!